Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! This blind... Loyalty is just another form of slavery! Glory be to Volron! It's useless. They're brainwashed. Just like the dead... We dealt with that side. Shouldn't have messed with me. Dragon Anything in order Don't suffer inside. You're on a roll now. It's in the sky. It's mine. Thank you. Luna Rongo. Can you take it on? That didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them exhaust us before we reach full run. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost, but more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two. Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. 
No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a fun thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? Huge area to search. Where should we even begin? I believe the largest, tallest structure will be best. In castles, you'll often find the things of most import are located in such areas. Spoken like someone who used to own one. So where is he? There's no sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a Zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey. Wearing us down before the final ambush. 
It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. <sighs> Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final Master Core will be ours. With that, we can create the Renesalma and finally put an end to this whole nightmare. That shining enemy. Brace yourselves. This one. Some kind of drawbridge? I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most likely, it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. Mega Ray! 
Trying to exhaust us? Everyone hang hanging in there. Let's dispose of the trash. We seem to have come across something a little... There's always room for improvement. What's this thing? Got I'll tear you Let up. a marksman handle it! I'm all yours! 
Turbo Demon Time! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Burn in hell! Free Not in your dreams! Rending you up! I'm ready! Yeah. 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 Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Radiant Light! I'm here in Dragon Ball! I'm out of the air! First strike! Explosive Disc! Stop! Far enough! Double demon fang! Double demon fang! Off one! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Can you really make weapons with this? That enemy looks strong. I bet. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let In me know bind. if you need healing. Roll it down. Is that Jackie? Now I've seen everything. I'm ready. ready. Okay. Okay. This one's got your name on it. Action to action. Clear the guard. I never. Feel my power growing. Hey, didn't we come through here earlier? That's yeah, I think you're right. I don't know where we are anymore. When everything around us looks the same, it's easy to get turned around.
Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Ready for the next battle. My exploits are bearing fruit. Let's refrain from losing. Victory nonetheless. Free. A long way yet to go. Hey, look at that enemy. It's This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need you healing. Get out of this! Be careful, everyone. This one is in normal. Take it! Hear my code! This one's mine! 
Close thing. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Nicely done. I think 
are about to be real lucky! Is there anything more magnificent than the musket? Shining foe over there. This one's tough. Benedict. 
Sword Rain Alpha! Inferno Punch! Put him away! I'll face you! Not in your dream! Tempest! Sword Rain Alpha! Team Assemble! Assemble. All Tempest! Tempest. 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 Just for getting cocky. I can feel my power growing. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go.
Have you got... There's certainly an abundance of water in this realm, isn't there? Yeah. We won't have to worry about going hungry around here. Is she saying she can get full off of just water? Seriously, I'll fix you food while we're here. You don't have to worry. Huh? Why are you two so concerned all of a sudden? Hmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. <sighs> Let me think. Well... Have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? I think it's time we go to sleep. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. Pretty lucky.
Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? <laughs> 